What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. I am back again with an NFL Divisional Bowl prediction. Last but not least, I will be talking about the AFC West. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So the first team that I will be talking about is the Denver Broncos. And my bowl prediction is that Bo Nix will break the Broncos' single-season rookie passing yards record. Now, it is still up in the air of who will be the week one starter. Is it Wilson? Stidham or Nix, but I'm going to go with the assumption that Bo Nix is the starter week one. Now, out of all 11 quarterbacks that were drafted in the 2024 NFL draft, Bo Nix did rank first in pressure passing grade, which is going to be a huge attribute to have in the NFL as there will be a lot of pressure coming at him. And on top of that, he was top five quarterback with a passing grade of over 20 plus yards. Bo Nix is literally the prototypical quarterback for Sean Payton. And I believe that Sean Payton is definitely going to do his best to mold Bo Nix into a Drew Brees type style. Um, with Sean Payton's offensive scheme, he's going to rely in the quick pass, rely on the run game a lot to help open up the pass game for Bo Nix and, uh, and also allow Bo Nix to throw some deep shots and have the deep ball go into Cortland Sutton, Marvin Mims, um, and Josh Reynolds. But I do believe that Bo Nix is a pretty good mobile quarterback when throwing the ball on the run, and he has a great sense of urgency in the pocket when he feels pressure. So I believe that's one thing that's going for him as a rookie quarterback. And on top of that, with Sean Payton's offensive scheme, especially in the quick passing game, he does rely on stick concepts and spacing concepts. And that's something that Bo Nix did excel at in Oregon the past few seasons. And Bo Nix was not the top quarterback with average depth throw tar uh, targets, which means that Bo Nix's average yard of passing was less than 10 yards. So he did check the ball down a lot, which definitely explains why his completion percentage was high. Nothing wrong with that. If no one's open down the field, just check the ball down and get your completions and move the ball. But I do believe that Bo Nix has the chance to break the record. I do think that the Broncos will be down in a good majority on a majority of games during the season. There will be a lot of garbage time opportunities for him to throw the ball and keep the Broncos in the game. Mickey Slaughter does hold the record with 1,689 yards. And for Bo Nix to break that record, all he needs to do is average 99 and a half passing yards per game, which I do believe that Bo Nix could definitely do that per game and have more. So I do think that Bo Nix will break this record if he is the week one starter, healthy all the way through the 17 games through the season. That is my bold prediction for the Denver Broncos. Now, the next team that I will be talking about is the Los Angeles Chargers. And my bold prediction is that they will actually have a top 10 rushing offense. Brand new coaching staff. They have Jim Harbaugh as the head coach. And now they have Greg Roman as the offensive coordinator. And if you look at these statistics during their tenure with Jim Harbaugh with the 49ers and Roman with the Baltimore Ravens, this is their overall NFL rank out of all 32 teams. Let's talk about Jim Harbaugh during his time as the head coach for the 49ers. Run play percentage, top five. Rushing attempts, top 10. Yards per carry, top 10. Rushing yards per game and rushing yards for the whole entire season, top five. Now let's talk about Greg Roman as the offensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens. Run play percentage, top five. Rushing attempts, yards per carry and rushing yards per game top three and pretty much they're near number one in rushing yards for the whole season this is going to be one of the most run heavy offenses coming in 2024 i know jim harbaugh said that one of the main reasons he went to the chargers was because of jim harb was uh justin herbert do not get that confused that this is going to be some type of air raid offensive scheme and jim and justin herbert is going to throw for 4,500 yards. This is going to be a run heavy team. They did draft Joe Alt. So they have Slater and Joe Alt on both tackles, and they're definitely building up the trenches to make this a very run heavy team. Gus Edwards, JK Dobbins, they were there during Greg Roman's tenure, 
And on top of that, they do have rookie Kamani Vidal. So all three are going to have their opportunities in the run game. And do not be surprised if the Chargers are top 10 in yards per carry, top 10 in rushing yards per game, or top 10 in rushing yards for the whole entire season. They're going to rely on the run game a lot, a little bully ball in the trenches. And that's my bull prediction for the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, the third team that I will be talking about is the Las Vegas Raiders. And my bull prediction is that Max Crosby will finish top 15 in NFL history with combined sacks and tackles for loss in a single season. Now, let's talk about the past two seasons for Max Crosby. He's led the NFL in tackles for loss and his sacks have gone up in each season. And with the addition of Christian Wilkins, that is going to be a phenomenal boost for Max Crosby's statistics coming into 2024. Christian Wilkins had the third most quarterback pressures out of all defensive tackles with 30. He had the fourth most double teams, and he was actually ranked number one interior defensive lineman and wins above replacement. Christian Wilkins is the best defensive tackle that Max Crosby gets to work with. Max Crosby would not have to deal with double teams a lot as Wilkins will command most of that attention. Max Crosby did have the most double teams in the run game, but like I said, with Wilkins coming in, in the trenches, helping Max Crosby out, this will allow more opportunities for Crosby to have an increase in tackle for loss and an increase for sacks. And pretty much if you add an extra three to four sacks and an extra three to four tackles for loss, Max Crosby is cracking into the top 15, and I really think that is doable. All he needs to do is get at least 40 combined between the two, and I honestly think that is very achievable. So my bold prediction is that Max Crosby will finish top 15 in NFL history with a combined sack and tackle for loss in a single season, and a lot of it is going to come with his running mate of Christian Wilkins just commanding a lot of attention away from Max Crosby. Now, last but not least, I will be talking about the Kansas City Chiefs. And my bold prediction is that Isaiah Pacheco would have a career year. He's going to have at least 1,000 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns. With Jarek McKinnon not coming back to the Kansas City Chiefs, Isaiah Pacheco is going to have a lot of opportunities in the run game and probably have a lot of opportunities in receiving game. In four games without Jarek McKinnon, Isaiah Pacheco was averaging about 20 rushing attempts and 100 rushing yards per game. Now, just picture 20 rushing attempts and 100 rushing yards per game through the whole season. Isaiah Pacheco will probably reach 1,700, which I don't think he will, but I do think that he will crack 1,000 rushing yards for the first time in his career and get double digit rushing yards. Isaiah Pacheco was a top 10 running back in red zone touches and a top 10 running back and goal line touches rushing the ball. He is averaging about 4.7 yards per carry and he plays a huge role in this Chiefs offense, especially in the running game. And he pretty much runs like he eats people. I'm sure you guys heard that comment towards the end of the season, but this guy runs with a demeanor that he's ready to run you over no matter what kind of size he is. He has heart over height, and Pacheco will have a career year. So for you fantasy football players looking for a running back, especially probably in the later rounds, Isaiah Pacheco is going to have a career year, and he is definitely going to play a big role in this Chiefs offense as the Chiefs strive for a 3 P. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on my AFC West Bowl predictions. If you're new to the channel, I do make football content every Mondays and Fridays. But thank you so much and catch you next time.